Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to shift from the Reds and talk a little bit about the Bengals and their opener at Seattle this Sunday at 4 o'clock. Um, a lot of things to get to here. Uh, first off, it's the first game of the Zach T uh, Taylor regime and I am very excited to see what he can bring to the table. And I'm also excited to see the differences in the overall team philosophy as compared to uh, that of Marvin Lewis. So. It'll be fun, it'll be interesting, and uh, I'm just really glad to have somebody else in charge because I'm really looking forward to seeing some fresh ideas, philosophy, th philosophies, things of that nature. So, uh, with that said, this team, as predicted by most, uh, is a, a lot of people are down on them, and it's for pretty justifiable reasons. Um, most pundits have this team finishing last in the division, and reasons why include a very bad offensive line, A.J. Green's hurt, Dolan's kind of at a crossroads in his career. Uh, you have some weaknesses on defense, especially at linebacker. So the predictions are justified. I'm not mad about them. I'm not one of those people who you know wants to call it the haters or anything like that. So, uh, so yeah, there's a perception about them, and they're gonna have to go out uh, and lay lay out this new uh, regime and these new philosophies brick by brick. And it may be a struggle at times. And this is a tough opponent. Uh, they will be playing in a very difficult stadium. I, if I had to be honest, I don't think they're going to win this one. But, you know, that we watch the games to, you know, see the unexpected. So, uh, Seattle is a team that was kind of supposed to be in a rebuild last year, but they ended up finishing ten and six, made it to the playoffs. Um, as everybody knows, it kind of starts and stops with Russell Wilson. He's the franchise guy, Super Bowl champion. Uh, I wouldn't say he's like an upper upper echelon quarterback, but he's definitely up there. He's somebody you have to prepare for. Um, they also have a really good rushing attack as well, so the Bengals have to be on the lookout for that. Um, this is not a very good week one matchup for, for the Bengals, um, especially, let me rewind and talk about the absence of A.J. Green. He's the guy I feel like they're going to miss, so others are going to have to step up. Um, I'm interested to see the play calling, uh, the overall philosophy and the direction. Um, yeah, like I keep saying, not an easy game. I do think the schedule gets easier. Uh, I actually, in general, don't think the Bengals have a tough schedule at all. Um, so there is that. Although people see the Bengals on their schedule and think the same thing. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, week one for the Bengals this Sunday at Seattle at 4 o'clock. Uh, I'm just really happy the football is back and I'm pumped to... Uh, Pump, pump to get the show on the road. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.